<laughs> Looks as though it's going to be long, but it won't be long. Right, um, distinguished guests, uh, Dr. Stalin Youngwen, club presidents, fellow Rotarians, and friends of Rotary. I've been honored to, to do a toast to South Africa. Before I get into the toast, I would like to acknowledge Elmar, Elmar Maxwell of the Rotary Club of Durban North, who penned the following in 2017. When I was reading the message, I felt it to be so apt and that I couldn't possibly pay any, any better homage to our country. Cry, beloved country, not tears of despair and frustration, but tears of joy and appreciation. Appreciate what, you might ask, as we see levels of corruption and crime soar. When we as Rotarians work with people who are destitute and poor, when our economy is on its knees and racist opinions still get spoken, with such ease. And we are expected to be grateful? No, oh, please. Stop. Stop and take the time to look around you. Wake up early and experience an African sunrise. The red, yellow, and orange colors so vibrant they hurt your eyes. Walk, on, walk or drive down any street. Our abundant flora flourishes everywhere, despite the African heat. Venture out of your suburban surrounds, and the infinite beauty of our treasure, a treasured country abounds. Witness a herd of wild animals thundering by. Look up and appreciate our seemingly endless African sky. But as, a, as remarkable as the natural attractions in our country are, it's our people that shine brighter than any star. We are resilient, spirited, and loyal, no matter the cost. The spirit of Ubuntu amongst us South Africans will never be lost. May the tears you cry be because you know that commitment to South Africa will continue to grow. May the tears you cry be because you understand the love we Rotarians have for South Africa, our land. Could I ask everyone to stand? <laughs> We raise our glasses on South Africa. South Africa. 